sa inyo, mga kababaihan. We don't only give tribute to the women around the world, but for the women who are in this room, whether you are a mother, you are a sister, whether you are married, or a female-headed household. So change is inevitable. Whether we like it or not, change has to happen. But it's actually how we react to change. Some people welcome change and find ways to turn the unexpected into an opportunity for growth. Others become frightened and simply react. Hey, I don't even want to be involved in the change. I'm too old. I don't even want to know how to use the computer or the cell phone. So the right attitude can mean the difference between allowing unexpected life changes to keep us from achieving our goals or dealing with the changes and growing because of them. Uh, I have two quotations that have helped me as I've been involved in change at Erie. One of them is related to making changes. And that's the way to get things done is not to care who gets the credit for doing them. Second thing I've learned related to adapting to changes is never ascribe to malice that which is adequately explained by incompetence. The meaning of this is generally assume the best of people and give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that they weren't trying to leave you out. They weren't forgetting about country offices altogether. They just hadn't gotten to thinking about them yet because they've been really busy. Do you know what the word floral means? F-L-O-R-E-L, floral. The answer, floral is the opposite of singular. <laughs> Ah uh -huh. 